I feel nothing can stop me. When I get an idea, it takes hold of me. Mm. And this particular song, even more than most ideas, I've actually made about 130 versions. Well, friends, welcome to another episode of Tracy Gold Show. Today, I have a special treat for you because I'm coming from Lincoln Center in New York City. And my guest is a woman by the name of Barrett Cobb. She is a composer and an operatic singer and performer. And she has created this inspiring, amazing video to pay tribute to the many women and men who have invented distributed and developed the COVID-19 vaccine and changed many lives, including my own and including her own. So today she's gonna to tell you her story and we're gonna show you the music video at the end of the video. So if you need a fun and inspirational COVID-19 story, then this episode is for you. So Barrett, welcome to the show. I'm so just so delighted to have you here. I'm thrilled myself. And I actually get to see you in person, which we waited for quite a while it's to amazing, be able to do. Yeah. I know. So before we get stuck into Emerge from the Darkness, which is what your video and your song is called, I'd love to hear your story because I know you and I know what an inspiration you are to many people, but tell my viewers a little bit about you and your background. Well, uh, I've been in music all my life. I began as a flute player and I worked at that uh, until I was in my 30s. Then I had a medical problem, so I switched and became a singer. Yes. And fairly recently, about six or seven years ago, I started composing. And wow. uh, to my amazement, people perform my music. <laughs> Nothing is stopping you. So you are going forward, you're forging forward, and you're just starting new projects and new things. I feel nothing can stop me. I, uh, I, when I get an idea, it takes hold of me. Mm. And this particular uh, song, even more than most ideas, I've actually made about 130 versions of it. <laughs> wow, a hundred, okay. 130 versions. I feel like we need to just like rest in that 130. Uh, Why 130? Well, I have the general idea all at once and I write stuff down and then I go back and I tinker and I change things and I realize how maybe one harmony could be a little bit better or the voicing could be better. Mm. And uh, then I decide, well, I don't really want that to be a solo voice there. I want two people there. Just, I dream about it at night. I wake up at 3 a.m. and I start thinking of, oh, I should put a harmony there. Wow. So that's just what happens. That's amazing, because I think that when we listen to a beautiful piece, we don't really understand all that goes into something. And that many versions of a song is pretty intense, uh -huh. right? I don't know how people did it before they had a computer with a computer program. And they, I mean, to write it out, 130 versions, yeah. and cross things out, well, Beethoven, if you ever see his scores, I mean, they're just, everything's crossed out. It's a mess, poor man. They would have been so much better off now. <laughs> <laughs> but that's also amazing because you've learned to utilize technology in order to help you to express yourself creatively yeah. and to share that expression with the world. So tell me, what is the inspiration be behind Emerge from the Darkness? Because, you know, there's been so much negativity around COVID. There's been a lot of negativity around the vaccine, right? So I, I just love the story because I feel mm -hmm. like it's a good news story and it's one that isn't really being told. Like, are we really talking about the people behind the vaccine, those that created it and distributed it and actually put the shot in our arms? Yeah. It was a wonderful experience when I had it done. The, everybody was so kind. There, there was a wonderful feeling in the room where they did it. And I went two other times. I went with a friend once and I got my second shot too. Yeah. And uh, after I got the shot, I just had an amazing feeling of energy. And I, wow. I had planned to walk home. And it, it's a few miles to my home from there. And so I started to go down to the subway. And then I thought, I don't want to be underground. I just felt so good. I felt so energized. So I said, I'd, well, I'll walk to the next subway entrance. And 
As I was walking, I started noticing signs of spring. This was in March. Okay, I was going to ask, what time of the year yeah, was that was in just, New York? Yeah, it was just beginning. The buds were just emerging. That's amazing. <laughs> and the daffodils were coming up, and there was bird song in the air, and it was just uh, a wonderful feeling that I had. And as I walked along, this music sort of came to me, mm. and I. Uh, actually started writing the middle part of the song. The middle part of the song is about wandering. The mm. first part, part is about how we emerge and we feel the beauty of nature and we want to wander and we mm. keep wandering. And I was thinking of these words to wander far and wide. And mm. I wandered all the way home. <laughs> and when I got home, I started writing the song. That's amazing. And uh, I, I was so happy that I could think of something that I could do that is my thank you note, even if they never hear it. And if anybody is out there that knows anybody, especially the people who invented this miracle, this vaccine, which is so much better than they even expected. To it be. is too, right? It's very yeah. effective. Yeah. Very effective. Uh, and so, Barrett, I'm interested, you know, there's been such a lot of talk around the fear around the vaccine, and yet you speak about it as if it's an, an awakening, an emergence, a, like a really happy experience. Can you just share that with us? And not to judge anybody who feels differently from that, uh -huh. but I just would love to hear that story of, of what it's meant for you to have the vaccine. Well, uh, my brother and father are, were both doctors, my father, my father. My brother just retired. Matter of fact, the day after he retired, he gave COVID vaccinations. He was a neurosurgeon, but he wow, was doing that. That's amazing. Yeah. That's I, amazing. I was very proud of him. Oh, wow. Uh, so since I'm from a medical family, I trust medicine. So I, I had no doubt about it. And I asked my brother and he said, once, once they've got a vaccine, it'll all be okay. Yeah. So yeah. I just couldn't wait to get it. And so that's been your experience, is that as you, as you had your first one and as you had your second one, you've been able to emerge from this dark winter as you, you know, share in the, in the song. And now you're able to enjoy New York. And I mean, look around us. So for those of you who don't know, so we, we're at Lincoln Center and we couldn't be right in front of the building, but there's the performances going on. The city is alive. We're here. We're able to like see each other, not have to wear masks, not have to socially distance. It's so freeing. It's it really amazing. Yeah. So what is your desire with this song? Because we're going to play it at the end of the video so okay. you can see the full video. It's really beautiful. And I would just like to encourage you to watch the entire thing because in the beginning it feels pretty gloomy and pretty sad, but it, but it changes, it transforms. So, so what is your hope with this, Barrett? Well, two things, I suppose. I, uh, I do have a, a, a secret hope that maybe I guess it's not a secret anymore. It's not a secret anymore. It's out to all of these people. So what but, is your hope? Maybe people who don't normally listen to classical music yes. uh, will hear it and like it and maybe listen to a little Beethoven or a little Mozart or Brahms and, and realize that it's a wonderful medium and it can make your life very happy. Mm. So what is your desire specifically with the song? Because you have shared with me that you have this vision of yeah. being able to perform this to people who have created and distributed and developed this vaccine. Uh -huh. Is that true? Uh, well, I will perform it, definitely. Yes. <laughs> and uh, I've also made a, a version for, cor for women's chorus, which I like very much. Amazing. And when, when you, some of the words are, travel far and wide and boy when you have the women you have very high and very low and everything in between you can do certain things with a big group yes uh, that that are special so I have that desire and I, I hope that maybe some choruses there are so many wonderful choruses mm. I mean it, every city has so many choruses New York must have you know, 30, and not to mention all the ch church choirs. Yes. Know, amateurs, professionals, every level, large and small. Choral singing has been around longer than any other kind of music for a thousand mm. years. Yes, and, yes. And uh, I would love it if people, uh, if choruses said, I want to sing this song. 
Okay, so I'm going to put it out there, right? I'm going to say if there is anybody watching who knows of a chorus or is part of a chorus who wants to use the song, Barrett, how will they contact you? Uh, they can go to my website, and it, uh, which is barrettcobb.com, and at the bottom, I think it says contact, and, and you can find how to get to me there. Perfect. And so for those of you who are watching that have a description box, I will put that link uh -huh. inside of the description box so you can get to her directly. Also, Barrett, are you on any social media platforms? Uh, Facebook, of course. Yeah. Facebook. Okay, so I will put your Facebook. I will put your Facebook in there as well and on the screen so that you can be sure to contact Barrett if you if you want to use it. So thank you so much, Barrett, for sharing your story. I really, really appreciate it. I find it so inspiring. I feel uplifted. I feel really excited, especially because I have been vaccinated and I'm experiencing the freedom that we have here in New York City because of it. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. And if you want to stay in touch with us, please feel free to go to our website, tracygoldshow.com, and you can um, there will be a little pop-up and you can join the insiders list. And please, if you do want to reach out to Barrett, tell her what your beautiful, so what your thoughts are about her beautiful song. We will be showing this entire, entire piece at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Barrett, for sharing Thank your, you so much. your beautiful creation <laughs> with us. Thank you so much. Mm. Thank you so much, ladies. Take care. Bye-bye. Do